Hello everybody, in this video we will see how we can uh, host our Node.js application on uh, AWS EC2 instance. So uh, let's get started. Here I have a uh, git uh, repository uh, and the code for Node.js application as you can see here in this uh, git repository. So we will uh, use this repository for deploy our code in uh, node.js uh, file you can see it's uh, creating a function and it will uh, show that response on uh, uh, localhost so let's get started here I have uh, my EC2 instance so if you don't know how to launch your EC2 instance so I will uh, put the link in the description and also in a I button so you can find uh, that link and uh, know how to create an EC2 instance as you can see my uh, instance is up and running so we will just uh, simply connect this uh, instance and uh, uh, here I will connect as uh, EC2 instance connect you can also connect as a session manager or use the SSH key uh, and uh, EC2 serial console so I will just simply connect with EC2 connect and uh, here you can see it's connecting and establishing the connection uh, it will take a few seconds so here you go uh, it's uh, connected successfully so let me clear the screen and uh, first we will uh, type uh, sudo su hyphen for the root user now you can see I am now a root user now uh, let's get uh, uh, run further commands so first uh, we will install uh, node.js and npm using nvm so basically we will install the nvm package so you just simply copy and paste uh, all the commands in the uh, terminal of your EC2 instance uh, I just copying the first command and uh, pasting here now it's uh, downloading the package NVM package which we will use for uh, node.js application it's done now uh, once we download the NVM package it's time to uh, activate that package on the specific path so just simply copy and paste work it's done it's activated now we will uh, install node uh, on our machine because our machine is uh, totally fresh so we will install node on it so it's uh, downloading has been started and uh, it will download all the packages and the dependencies that we uh, want so it's done now uh, if you uh, want to check your node and uh, npm versions so you can uh, simply uh, check that those uh, by typing these commands and you can see we have uh, both things on our machine uh, like node and nvm now uh, we will uh, first we will uh, update our machine because uh, it's a, a totally fresh machine so we will uh, update update it uh, 
it's all the copy paste work so just copying the all the commands in the terminal and uh, you will see all the response so it's uh, updating the machine and it's done now our machine is up to date now it's time to install git on uh, our machine because we will clone our git repository on uh, on that machine or server so let me install the git it's done in a few seconds and if you also want to check the version of the git you can also uh, use that command I think it's uh, not the appropriate command let me type once again I think I made a mixed mistake one more time so let me I will also correct that uh, command in the git repository so this is the command git hyphen hyphen version now you can see the git version now uh, let's uh, do further things like uh, we will now we will clone our git repository on our EC2 server for that uh, you can use uh, you can use that uh, clone command and uh, you can just copy that uh, uh, URL and uh, paste in your uh, CMD CMD of your machine now we will cloning our git repository and you can see it's 100% uh, completed now once it's uh, done let me check all the files are here by typing I will type ls hyphen ltr which will use for the list of uh, all the directories uh, which are present now you can see we have the node.js uh, directory now we will change the directory and we will go to go inside the, that directory uh, and here if we type ls-ltr you can see all the files are here which which are uh, shown here as well now it's uh, time to start our uh, node.js application by uh, start our npm package we will uh, start our application through npm package or npm start and uh, now you can see our application is uh, has been started so as i told you that we will uh, uh, all the code is uh, listen on the port 80 but we don't need to type uh, localhost in our uh, tab we will just copy the public IP of our uh, EC2 uh, server server IP public IP and you can see it's uh, giving us a result and uh, that uh, that shown result is uh, type in the index.js file so this is it for this video hope you guys uh, uh, enjoying and uh, and thank you so much for watching uh, we'll see you in the next video bye bye